Today we're going to be talking about hospital reusable masks. And for this video we're going to be using waterproof on one side fabric. You will need 7 inch squares for that. You will also need pipe cleaner. Um, this one is cut at 6 inches. <clears throat> and approximately 22 inches of double fold wide bias tape. Let's get started. All right, using a ruler, we're going to mark six places on our square. On one side, one and three quarters, two and three quarters, three and one eighth, four and one eighth, four and a half, and five and a half. Now keeping your ruler with the one on the same side, we're going to mark exactly the same things on this side. Okay, with corresponding marks on both sides, they should be exactly the same distance. So to fold it, we're going to take the top dots and fold them directly under. And then we're going to take our dots to meet the next set of dots, which is right there. We're going to take the next, the third dot down. We're going to also fold that back. Finger press. If you will notice right here, these ones are going to come up and meet the next dots. And finger press. Oops. There we go. Come on, friends. So then we're getting the pleats that we need. And then the last one, we're going to fold back, finger press, and then bring that to meet our last and sixth dot. And finger press. Now, we've got a bunch of lines in here. We're actually going to scrunch them where we finger pressed them so that they meet together. And my trick to avoiding pins, we're going to grab some tape. I'll just go ahead and tape it. With the tape in place, I have a measuring mat behind mine. If you do not, that's okay. I'm going to just try and get it to four inches. So it looks like I need to adjust it just a smidge. Okay. So when you have the pleats in, it should measure roughly four inches by the seven inches. All right, with our bias tape, we're going to measure four inches twice. And seven inches, these will go on the sides of the mask. And then seven inches and two of those. They're easier to handle if they're smooth. All right, we're going to baste the sides closed so we can remove the tape as we sew. Now with your four inch piece, 
we're going to fit it on the side and we're going to sew close to this far edge just to keep it firmly in place. I'm using green thread with pink bias tape. Hopefully you can see the stitches as we go. So using 1 8 inch elastic, it's very, very thin. This is going to be used to go around the ears of the person wearing it. So we're going to measure seven and a half inch strips of one eighth inch elastic. We need two of these for each face mask. If you put the elastic on after you get the sides, it is much easier on your needle because bias tape is quite dense. So to avoid breaking needles, I would suggest putting the elastic on both sides before you put the top and the bottom on and then it encases the sides of the elastic as well. Using the elastic that we have cut, we're going to sew a very small length stitch to secure the elastic. I'm also going to sew this way. With the elastic, I'm going to pull it smooth and straight and so that it's laying the same way on this side. It makes it easier so it doesn't twist behind the ear and cause irritation. And that's going to go right here. With your seven inch piece, we've got these sewed along the edge, sewn along the edge. With your seven inch piece, we're going to sew one more strip on the bottom. If you will notice, when we open up the pleats, this is what it will look like on a face, but the pleats open down on the face mask. So this will actually be the top with this first pleat up. So that is important to know. All right, as we begin to sew our final side, we're going to get started just a little ways in. And we're going to use our pipe cleaner, stick it right inside, nestle it right up to the top. And we're going to sew very carefully around it. You don't want to hit it with your needle. We're going to sew very carefully. We're just going to edge it off. The pipe cleaner will shift if you don't finish this edge and this edge. Okay, here's our finished pro product. And if you'll notice the top with the fold underneath, as the piping and it is ready to be used. Great job friends!